Hello and good morning. Well, as good as it can be now that Brexit's ruined everything, I suppose. Now, in a few minutes, I'll open the phone lines to some far-right bigots, give them 30 seconds to dig a hole for themselves, call them a racist, then cut them off. I mean, you know, what is wrong with these people? I'm not exaggerating when I say that I'm absolutely sick to death of it. It feels like they're everywhere, the far-right bigots. It's enough that you have to put up with them during the day. But I don't know about you, I go to bed at night and they're even haunting my dreams. These are the sorts of people we're dealing with. I caught my neighbour putting up a St George cross in his window last month during the Euros. Appalling. I confronted him. I said, oh, so what? You hate immigrants now, do you? Well, I hope you never get ill and need hospital treatment, because when an immigrant nurse is tending to you and an immigrant surgeon saving your life for free on the NHS, you won't be complaining then, will you? Absolute hypocrites, these people. And then you've got individuals like Farage online stoking the fires, saying things like 500 illegal migrants arrived along the Kent coastline yesterday. So what? What harm are they doing anyone? Leave them alone. 500, 5,000, 5 million. What does it matter? There's space for everyone. Worry about yourself. Get your own house in order. Stop blaming everyone else for your problems. And I'll tell you what, Keir Starmer's on to you. He's got the police looking at your social media, looking at your online activity, and they'll be knocking on your door, they'll be making arrests, and they'll be putting you in prison. And that's exactly where you belong. I hope you rot, quite frankly. If they have to release a few sex offenders or violent criminals to create space for you, then so be it. Because you know what? Hate won't win. It never does. In medieval times, people like you would have been tied to the back of a horse and cart by your ankles and dragged over cobbled streets until you'd broken every bone in your body. And rightly so. Prison is too good for you, absolute vermin. White working class dregs of humanity. And I'll tell you something else. Maybe it's you who should be deported. Because what are you contributing? That's right. Nothing. Nothing, you scum. Thanks for listening.